everybody. Today I'm going to do a quick tutorial to show you how I figured out how to sew these little nose pieces into a cloth or fabric mask. So the little nose piece, the little nose piece is just right here uh, from here to here and it will fit and form to your nose so there's no gap right there. Um, I had a girl reach out to me and ask me if I could sew these in some mask for her. Um, I had never done it and I told her I could totally try. So that's what I'm doing today and the process that um, I'm doing seems to be a good process. So I want to share it with you guys in case you are makers of mask or you're making your own mask for your family and you found out that some of these masks don't cover this part, okay? So with these little nose strips, um, it will form to your nose. And also, I believe you could probably use those pipe cleaners. I think other people have used pipe cleaners. They've cut them to fit and they've sewn them in. So that's all we're doing. I'm not showing you how to make the actual mask. I'm going to show you how I sewed the pieces in. So I'm going to have to do a voiceover because apparently it didn't record my voice as I was making this video. But what I'm showing you here is the actual mask that's already made. You're finding your top piece. You're finding your bottom piece um, so that you will be able to slip this nose piece in through the little seam that you should have still open at the bottom of your mask. So I take mine and I kind of bend it into place to where the nose will fit just so that I can feel it when I slip it into my mask. So, so there's my little bend I'm showing you in the video. Um, not, you know, not a big bend, just a small, a slight bend. I am slipping it, slipping it into the mask. I am fitting it up toward the top, kind of just looking and feeling for that little bend piece to put it in the middle to make sure that it is centered um, because you're going to want that nose piece to fit evenly over the top of your nose. And then I'm going to take my little push pin um, and I'm going to hold that little metal clip in place. So when I go to the sewing machine, I'm going to be able to sew around it. Um, so when I top stitch, I'm just going to top stitch along the very bottom of that nose piece. So I'm just showing you here, I think, <laughs> that I'm going to top stitch and I'm going to go underneath the bottom of it. So now we're here at the sewing machine. I'm just making a feel. I'm feeling where it should, you know, start and I'm sewing right along the side of that nose piece. As you can see, I've already top stitched. And I just make a small little stitch and I do that on both sides of the nose clip. Okay guys, that's it. The short little tutorial was just to show you guys how I figured out how to sew these little metal strips little nose pieces into these face masks. So I hope this process works for you. It seems to be the easiest way for me to do it, the most efficient and quickest way, especially if you're producing or you're putting out um, many, many, many face masks a day because the demand is so high right now, um, especially with all the new laws and things in most cities and states going into effect. People need masks and not everybody has a sewing machine. Um, so those of us that are making them know the demand is high. So this is a quick way to do it if you've been asked to do it. Remember you can probably use those little pipe cleaners. I haven't used them, um, but just remember top stitch just along the bottom and top stitch on both sides. Just as easy as that guys. So I hope this blessed you. Um, leave your comments below if, if you know another way. Uh, so thanks for watching and have an amazing day.